De La Salle University is a leading Philippine university in Manila. It has been a leading university involved in the holistic education of the students. But one of the important elements of the education that De La Salle University offers is also community engagement. That is why when Pope Francis came out with an appeal that all look very critically at what is happening to our environment. The university, in its desire to respond to that appeal, decided to include in its vision mission statement the sense of what would be a sustainable earth. So for this reason, it was also decided that we would encourage and propagate programs that would answer the different crises that are affecting our planet. The project uh, started as a research done by a professor from our biology department. He just wanted to know what's the status of our coastal ecosystem in the said bay. He came up with a report and a set of recommendations he sent to the local government unit for them to act on. Um, it's quite a, uh, unfortunate that uh, local government units before did not actually do anything about the recommendation. He then turned to COSCA, uh, the Center for Social Concern and Action came on board. We were tasked primarily to talk to the local partners, inform them about the research results. The report led to the people knowing about the status of their ecosystem. One of the major highlights of the project is the fisher folk themselves lobbied the local government unit to declare the marine ecosystem as a marine protected area. One part of the project is for us to capacitate them on, on certain things on, on resource management. One particular aspect is on monitoring of the reef system. One activity that we did was to make them part of reef check so they can monitor their own reefs. Now we sort of like made them part of the team so the skills are there. So because of the capacity building activities that we did, now they are part of our monitoring team and they can monitor their own reefs. Andito lang po yung aming barangay at yung aming uh, bayan ng Lian. At uh, andyan na rin po yung uh, marine station dito po sa barangay Binabusan. Dumating po itong pag-aaral po ng mga scientists sa panguna ni Dr. Likwanan na director po ng marine station. Una po, inihahan po nila sa atin yung kanilang datos. Doon po nagsimula yung aming pakikipagugnayan doon sa mga mangisda at doon sa mga naninirahan dito sa sitio. Ah, nakuha po nila yung mga datos para doon sa mga pangisdaan. At yun po, nihahan nila ngayon yung adoption po ng aming marine protected area dito sa bayan. Dumating na po yung mga partners para po makipag-dialogo at yun po yung uh, muling nabuhay po yung sa mga ng Unang nagawa, yun pong pagtatanim po ng mangrove dito sa aming lugar. Mga estudyante po ng DLSU, nagpupunta po dito sa aming barangay at meron din po silang nursery dun sa marine station. Ngayon po, ginawa po ng DLSU na ibigay sa PO yung mangrove nursery. Kung kaya, yun po ang naging uh, livelihood ngayon. Layonin din po ng COSCA na mabawasan o maiwasan yung paggamit ng ating karagatan. So nag-usip pa uli ang COSCA at ang LGO kung ano pa yung dapat namin gawin. Tinarain kami bilang isang refrager, uh, yun ay layunin nila para matuto kami ng tamang pagtanggap ng bisita pa paano natin sila gagabay. Tinuruan kami ng first aid, tinuruan kami ng tanga mga pagsagip. Nung nitrade kami, biglang dumami yung customer namin na mag-snorkeling. Kumikita na kami sa mangrove, kumikita rin kami sa coral na pagsisita na hindi naman natin ginagamit yung dagat. When De La Salle heard that we are one of the finalists in the GUPES awards, it was quite a very inspiring moment for us because it in a way affirmed that we are on the right track. But it also challenges us to, to think and to say, what, how can we replicate this type of project so that more of our people in the Philippines or in other parts of the world may gather inspiration of having our people able to continue their way of life in a way that 
is in synchrony with our nature, with our planet.